Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty stitch. It's a double sided stitch. The pattern is on both sides like this. It's really pretty. I've used this variegated yarn so you can see it in different colours, what it looks like in different colours or with a variegation on it. It's really pretty. So I would just like to thank everyone who has been supporting me on my coffee page and buying me a cup of coffee or even just giving a donation to help with the running of the channel. I'll put a link underneath the video where you can go and have a little look. You can even just follow me on there. My Facebook and Instagram kept getting hacked so I don't do that anymore. But you can follow me on the coffee website. I'll put the link underneath. So once again, thank you to all the people who have been supporting me and buying me a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. <laughs> so thank you so much. So on with this, we'll go on with this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to do a chain. I'm just going to do a sample. One, two, don't do your chain too tight. You don't want your, your foundation chain to go in like that if you do your foundation stitches too tight. So I've got my foundation chain done. I'm going to go into the fourth stitch in the chain. Count one, two, three and four. We're going to do a UK treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet for you. So put your yarn over and go into that fourth stitch. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So that little chain that's there becomes your first stitch and that's your second stitch. We're going to put one treble crochet into every stitch in the chain all the way along to the end. So I've done my last one. Now we've done them in sets of four. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and turn your work around. So into the next stitch here, we're going to put a UK double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet for you. So you just put your hook through the stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and through your two loops. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and the next stitch we're going to work around the post. We're going to go in this space around the back of the stitch and come through this side and we're going to do a UK treble crochet this time. If you're in the USA that's a double crochet. So yarn over and go in the space in the space and around the back of that post of the stitch. I'll show you the back of it. So we're around the back and this is called a front post treble crochet because the post of the stitch is on the front of your hook. Yarn over and pull through. You've got three loops. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. Now you're going to do that another twice. The little fan is made up of three treble crochets around the same post. So yarn over and around that same post and that's your second stitch and yarn over and around the post again and that's your third stitch. Skip one stitch and then do a double crochet. Skip one stitch and then make a fan around that post. So yarn over, your fan is done in UK treble crochets. So that's one, two and three. Skip a stitch and do a double crochet. And if you're in the USA that's a single crochet. Skip a stitch and then do your three treble crochets around that post. That's one, around the same post, 
that's two and around the same post that's three skip a stitch and double crochet skip a stitch and then do your fan all the way along so I've got three stitches left I've done my last fan I've got three stitches so I'm going to skip one and double crochet into the next one and on this last one here into the top of this little chain I'm going to put a treble crochet just do a treble crochet into that last one I'm going to chain two one two and turn now this row what you're going to do is that double crochet there we're going to do the fan around that double crochet just around that little double crochet there you're going to do your fan so yarn over and go around that little double crochet and put your three treble crochets on that's one around it again two and around it again so you're going to skip one and do a double crochet into the top of that fan skip a stitch and that will bring you to the double crochet you're going to put your fan around the double crochet every row now is we're going to put your fan around that double crochet so yarn over and around the double crochet so just like that bottom row you're going in that space and through this space so in there and scoop up that stitch on the front of your hook and pull through three times so that's one around that stitch again that's two and around again that's three so you're now at the fan on that side so skip a stitch and double crochet into the top of that little fan that's why you make sure you do your three stitches around your post skip a stitch and you're back at your little double crochet so yarn over skip that stitch and go around the double crochet and make your fan one two and three so it's like your very first row you're just setting up your foundation to start the little pattern I'll bring the other one in oops it's a little bit brighter that coloured yarn and you can see it but I really want to show you what it looks like in a darker yarn now when I've showed you here I've showed you in these bright colours so I also wanted to show you what it's like in a sort of darker colour so we've done that fan we're going to skip that stitch do a double crochet into the next stitch and that is on the top of that fan that's there skip your next stitch and around your double crochet I'll move that back out of the way and around your double crochet do your next fan and this is the row you'll keep repeating you'll put your double your fan around the double crochets one two and three so you're at your next little fan here so skip that stitch and double crochet into the next stitch skip that stitch and then put your fan around the double crochet on that row below on that row that you've just done before one two three skip a stitch double crochet skip a stitch then build your fan around that double crochet there one two and three skip a stitch double crochet skip a stitch and go around that little 
double crochet there. If you're in the USA, that's a little single crochet that's down there for you. And three all the way to the end. Now wait, you're not. Now when you're at the end and you've done your double crochet in that fan that's there, make sure you go around the double crochet here for your last fan. So we've done a double crochet, skip that stitch, and we're going to work around that double crochet. One, two, and one more three and into the last stitch here you've got a little chain here of two you're going to put a treble crochet into there chain two one two turn your work around so now what you have is you've got your little fan is here your double crochet is here the double crochet is where your next fan is going to go. So you're going to skip the stitch and double crochet into the top of the fan. So you'll always double crochet into the middle of the fan and build your new fan around that double crochet that's there. Then into the middle of that fan, so you skip a stitch, double crochet, skip a, skip a stitch, and then you'll do your fan around that little double crochet. And that's what gives it that little sort of twist, that little 3D effect. So we've done a chain of two. Skip one stitch. You can see that's your fan there. You're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip that stitch and work around the, fa the double crochet. Work around the double crochet and put your fan in. So that's one, two, get some more yarn, and three. So you'll always put your fan around a double crochet and at the top of your fan, you'll put a double crochet in the top of your fan. So that's the fan done. Skip a stitch and double crochet. Skip a stitch and that's your double crochet there. It looks like a V but it is the double crochet. So yarn over and go in that space and around that space and make a fan. This is a really pretty stitch in any colour of yarn and you can use any thickness of yarn. Just use the hook size it tells you on your label. So that's a little fan that we've done on that row there. So skip one stitch and into the top of the fan you'll do a double crochet. Skip a stitch and there's your double crochet there. You're going around that double crochet and making another fan. That's one, two and around again that's three. Skip a stitch, there's your little fan there. Skip the stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Skip a stitch and then work around that double crochet there, in there and out there. All the way along. One, two and three UK treble crochets around that double. Skip one and double crochet. So I'm at the end. I've got one little fan left and my chain of two. So skip a stitch, do your double crochet into the top of that fan and then I'm going to do into that chain there, do one treble crochet. So count one and two stitches and do your treble crochet. Now chain two, one, two. 
and this is what your little pattern is starting to look like it will look like this one it will look like this a few people have asked me to do could you do some crochet in darker colors so that we can see it well this isn't too dark but you can see that 3d patterning starting so I've done my chain of two and I've turned so the first thing we get is a stitch and your double crochet here so we're going to do a fan right around this double crochet so in this pattern your fan will go around the double crochets and then you'll put a double crochet into the top of the next fan so fans get made around the double crochets so yarn over and just go around that double crochet and build your fan that's one two and three skip a stitch and then double crochet into the top of your fan skip a stitch and it brings you to your little double crochet so build your fan around the double crochet one two and three skip a stitch double crochet skip a stitch and it brings you to the double crochet that's in between each fan so around the double crochet make your next fan so when you're at the end you've got your last fan and you've done your double crochet so down into your double crochet you're going to do a fan so that's one two around that double crochet down there and three and you're going to do one treble crochet into the second stitch of that little chain that's there into the second stitch there we go chain two one two turn your work around and you can see that nice pattern starting to come out it's really nice in this coffee color so you've got a fan right at the beginning so you're going to skip a stitch and do a double crochet and then you've got your double crochet here so you'll do your fan around the double crochet and that's what you're going to keep repeating that one row one two and three around the double crochet skip a stitch because you're at your little fan here that's your fan skip the first stitch and double crochet skip the stitch and you're at the little double crochet of that row and that's where you're going to build your next fan around the double crochet three so you're at the next fan so let's skip a stitch and double crochet skip a stitch you're at the little double crochet there and build your fan so the things to remember you'll always build your fan on a double crochet and on the fan you've already done in the middle you'll do a double crochet and this is the little pattern and how it works out and as you can see you've got your little double crochet and then your fan then your double crochet it looks like a little v stitch but you're going right around that stitch with your hook in that space right around the back and out that side and that's your fan then you've got your double crochet and your fan so this is what the pattern looks like when you've got a lot more of it done it's quite an ingenious thing because you get the wave on the bottom you get the little waves upside 
and you get the waves across the top now I'll turn that around and you can see that the pattern is the same on each side so you don't really need a border for this this is fantastic if you're going to make sweaters and cardigans with this stitch because this edge here lets even though it's got the little fan on this side it lets you sew it all together and it's I, I really like it I like it in all the different colors that I've done so this is the one that I've done with some brighter colors I've done this in a, a really bright pink a sort of dusty pink and a lilac with this yarn and that's it in a sort of more muted darker color it's really pretty this would make a fantastic winter blanket if you use a small hook now if you want the pattern to be more open and sort of lighter you can use a bigger hook but give it a little try with your sets of four stitches do sets of four stitches use the hook size it tells you on your yarn label and see how it goes if you think it's too thick for you then go up one size of a hook make yourself a small sample to start with because this is quite a thick stitch as you can see so thank you very much to all my followers on the supporters coffee page for buying me a cup of coffee <laughs> please subscribe it is free to subscribe to any youtube channel and if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial so thank you very much for watching and thank you all very much for your support so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye